Hi friends, it's Udaya from Backyard Garden Highlights, Hillsborough, New Jersey, Zone 6B. Hope you guys are doing great today. Today I'm going to try to create nice, clean, sharp and deep edge for my raised bed. I thought it would be a fun opportunity to share it with you guys. What are the steps that I make to achieve my goals? And also share an update if I'm able to make it or not. For the people who never heard about or done edging before, edging actually creates nice, clean line between your lawn and your raised bed or any other garden structure. It actually enhances curb appeal for your lawn, actually adds a lot of value for your landscape and your property without spending ton of cost. You can do the edging using paper stone, brick stone or edge stone. But today I'm going to talk about natural edging. Natural edging is flexible than permanent edging. If you plan on doing permanent edging, by end of the project if you don't like the outcome then you're going to spend a lot of cost and labor to get that changed but natural edging gives you more flexibility in terms of redesigning without spending ton of cost i just love curb appeal so i'm going to maintain that throughout my gardening i'm going to use very simple tool for this project a half moon shovel that i bought from big box store for designing the natural edging I can actually use marking spray paint if I'm an artist but I'm not. I don't want to leave paint marks in my grass. So I'm just going to eyeball and go along the existing lines to make this flower bed. This is how the bed looks currently. If you take a closer look, there is not really clear defined line that separates this bed and the grasses are all over. So edging actually helps make that clean line. I'll show you guys after the edging is done how this bed looks. Let me show you how I'm making the edges using half moon shower. All I'm doing is taking the half moon edger, sticking straight by stepping on it, wiggle left and right and slide through right and repeat the same steps until I finish all the way around the flower bed. I have Bob helping me with lawn mowing and I think uh, I can tell him to keep the edges trimmed when he mows the lawn. After heavy rainy days, mulch may fill the waste shape so I may have to come and adjust the mulch to bring it back to the bed once in a while to maintain the clean look. Now that I am done with this step 1, next step is to make an angle cut that gives nice V shape between mulch bed and the lawn. I am putting it on an angle, pushing the shovel to meet the very bottom edge where I cut it in step 1. I am not going to remove the dirt or extra grass until I finish the entire area, otherwise I may not get the perfect finish that I want to get. Do you guys see the V-shape? Once I mulch, it is going to meet the bottom and the edge will be exposed nicely. So all these piles came out of that edging process. So I'll be cleaning them out. Listen, this looks much better than the way it was before. I'll show you guys how it looks after I apply the soil and the mulch. I'll need to maintain this by keeping the edge maintained so grass doesn't fill over the V-shape. This has come out really well than what I expected. I'm very glad that I could learn something new that I have never done in my life. If any expert gardener watching this video, thank you for watching it. And please feel free to share your comment for any improvement opportunity to expand my gardening experience. And if you are a beginner gardener, please leave a comment on in what kind of gardening video you want to see in my channel. Alright guys, I am going to continue to do this uh, edging throughout my lawn. I am hopeful that I can finish it up in 2 or 3 days. Let's see, it's a lot of hard work those. Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys liked watching my video. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel.